Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. Today I want to talk to you about tires. No big surprise, you know I have a tire problem. I did something crazy. I bought used tires off of eBay. So let's talk about those. This is a set of Goodyear Duratrac tires for on the Jeep to replace the Goodyear Wrangler SRAs. And we'll talk about that in just a second. If you haven't already, make sure you click that like button. Click subscribe and the bell beside it so you get notified when we put out new videos. We really appreciate the support. I mentioned when I put those tires on the Jeep for winter time that I thought they could get me through a couple more winters because I don't really drive the Jeep that much in the winter. And while that is true, uh, we've had a snowier winter so far, and it's just the end of December right now, than the last several winters combined. So I thought, you know, if I am going to have the Jeep out on the road anytime in the winter time, it's probably best to have some better, safer tires on for the snowy weather we have here in Northwest Pennsylvania. And like I said, I did something crazy. I bought used tires off eBay. Now, these tires are the ones I wanted for the Jeep. These are the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac tires. I love that they've got the rim guard. I love the aggressive tread. They're kind of one of those hybrid tires between a mud terrain and an all-terrain. I like that about them. I like the aggressive look. And I've seen that they get really good reviews in the snow. But these are about $240 a piece in the size for my Jeep, which in the wintertime is a 255-75 R17. When these tires are brand new, they come with, I believe, 18 30 seconds of tread. And that is a deep tread, perfect for the wintertime. You can see they've got good siping here. They've got these grips even down in the depth of the tread with the little jaggers on them. That really helps in the snow. They've got jagged edges along the edge here. They've got nice open blocks here on the side. Great for mud and snow. So I'm excited to have these tires on the Jeep. Like I said, the brand new ones are about $240 a piece for the Jeep. I got these two for $120 free shipping to my house. Now these, let's put the tread gauge on them here. They're coming in right at 1030 seconds. So more than half the life left on them. 1030 seconds is still really deep tread. You know, some brand new tires have only slightly more than that when they come new from the factory. So I'm excited to get these 1030 seconds. This one has a little bit less. This one's about 930 seconds. So 10 and 930 seconds tread onto the Jeep. Now, for comparison purposes, I am going to buy two brand new Duratrax. I'll put those ones on the rear of the Jeep. I'll put these ones on the front. But that's a significant savings buying these used. And yeah, they're not brand new. They're not brand new tread. But they're certainly great tread for $120 versus $240 a piece. So I got these for $60 a piece. Saved $180 per tire. Saved a total of $360 buying two used tires off of eBay. Will I regret it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But on Monday, I'm recording this on a Saturday. On Monday, I'll take this to the shop. They'll put these two on the front. They'll put the brand new Duratrax on the back. And we'll see how it does in the snow. I wanted to talk to you about what were some of the worries I had when I placed the order on eBay. Number one, I was worried about the condition of these tires. I was worried they would arrive not the same as in the pictures. But these are exactly the tires that were in the pictures. They're in the exact shape I had imagined them to be based on the pictures. The tread is good. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of cupping that I feel on the edge, but nothing significant. Uh, so I think these will be great and, like I said, great savings. Other thing I was worried about was were there going to be holes or plugs in them. Now, I've looked these tires over really good. I don't see anywhere on the inside or the outside that they've been plugged or repaired. That's excellent. You can see... They're significantly more aggressive than the Wrangler SRAs that I had on the Jeep for wintertime. While the Wrangler SRAs do have these siping lines, they're nothing compared to the zigzag siping on these tires, and there's no lugs like there are on these tires. You can also see the Duratrac are quite a bit taller. These are the exact same tire size, 255-75 R17 tires, but... All tires are not exactly the same size just because they have the same size measurement. So that's why you'd never want to run two of these and two of these. Some people ask me that question. Would you run two of these just in the back and then leave two of these on the front? No. 
you'd always want to make sure you run four of the same tires because even though they're the same size according to the sidewall, they're a little bit different dimensions. Like I said, these are a little bit taller and they're actually a little bit narrower. You know, I can get my hand the whole way across the tread pattern of these, no problem. These are a little bit wider. I can't quite get my hand across the tread pattern. So there's a difference between the Duratrac and the SRA um, just in size, even though they're the same sidewall size indication. Also, these are a three peak rated mud and snow tire. Perfect for our winters here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Can't wait to see the brand new ones and kind of compare them to these used ones that have the 10 30 seconds. Can't wait to see that 18 30 seconds of tread. I think it'll be amazing. And I think we'll love having these on the Jeep. So like I said, there were a couple concerns I had so far. Um, I have no regrets about buying these off of eBay. Significant savings. It'll cost me $20 a piece to have these mounted and balanced on the wheels. That's not too bad. And then the tires I'm getting for the rear end, the mounting and balancing is included in the price. So we'll show you what these look like when they're all done and on the Jeep, but excited and no regrets so far about buying used tires off of eBay. I do have several things I got for Christmas that I want to show you. But actually, Jennifer's parents got me this. This is the Astro AI pressure gauge and tire fill. And this is something I've wanted out here in the garage for a while. You know, normally I've got the chuck on the tire. I'm filling it up, putting the gauge on it, filling it up, putting the gauge on it. This, is, this just eliminates one of those extra steps. This also has the connected chuck. So you're not pressing it on there and holding it the whole time, which is hard with your thumb in the cold weather. Now, it came with this quick connect on it. That's a different style than my air compressor system uses. So I'm going to take this one off. We'll put the right one on. It came with thread sealant. It came with some valve stem covers. And it came with the valve stem removal tool if you ever needed that. This was a great gift. We'll put some thread tape on here. Doesn't take much for an air hose. That should be good. This came with batteries. It does take batteries. came with batteries in it. Now let's bring the air hose over, connect this up. We'll check this rear tire on the Jeep and see how it works. Now this particular gauge system does go up to 250 PSI. goes from 0.1 to 250 PSI. Here's that regular chuck I was talking about. You know, you're holding this with your thumb on the valve stem. So there it's easy to connect. The trigger works. Press the power button here and the unit button. And we want to change our units to PSI. Perfect. Let's give it a try on the Jeep, see how it works. I'll put a link down below to this pressure gauge. You can get it off of Amazon. If you use our Amazon affiliate links, it helps us out. It doesn't cost you a penny more, but lets them know that we sent you to the site. I'll also put the Duratrac tires on there if you wanted to buy those off of Amazon. And I'll put the Goodyear Wrangler SRA tires on there just in case you need an all season or a summertime tire. So once again, we've got this connection here. Take the valve stem cap off, connect this on. And we can see already that we're at 31.5. Let's give that some more air. We'll go up to 35. So if you can see right here, 31.5, 34. Thirty-six. So we went a little bit over, but that's okay. We're going to go down here just a hair. But look how nice that was to, without constantly changing your hand between holding the chuck on here, putting a gauge on here, holding the chuck on, putting the gauge on. I can see it right here on the display. This stayed attached. We'll just disconnect that, put the cap back on. Well, we've got this out here. We might as well check the other ones. I've actually been having a leak at this tire. I don't know if it's the valve stem or something on the tire. 
So I just filled it up. It was totally flat yesterday. And we're at 35.3. We'll just put a little bit in it. If you needed to let air out, that's what this button does. Can release some pressure. So that's a great tool also. But man, this thing is going to be great. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video about those used Duratrac tires. Hopefully there's no regrets there. We'll have new tires on this Jeep the next time you see it. And wanted to show you this new tool I got for Christmas. I think this is going to be a lot more useful than the regular chuck and a regular tire gauge. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click that like button. And as always, we thank you for your support. And we'll see you again the next time. The Duratracs are installed on the Jeep now. I put the used ones on the front. They've got lots of tread left. I put two brand new ones on the back. Those brand new ones have 16, 30 seconds of tread. I think they look awesome on the Jeep. Perfect winter tire setup so far. But we'll give you a review after we put some miles on these and let you know what we think of them after we've got some road time. We did keep the Goodyear Wrangler SRAs. You can see there's still quite a bit of tread left on them. Never know what we'll do with these. Might sell them as used tires. Maybe someday Mackenzie will get her own Jeep. We'll put those on it for the summertime.